Joining us today, Kevin Coe, CEO of uh, One United Bank, joins us now. One United is the largest black-owned bank in the country. Kevin, it's good to have you. Uh, I'm sure you, uh, you're well aware the streets all about uh, looking for signs of stress, but since you don't have any commercial exposure, I wonder how much of an insulation that is for you. Well, resilience and adaptability are key to the banking sector now. The, the banking sector is going through a wholesale transformation as a result of technology. So we have a lot of things that we have to do as institutions, including adopting things like artificial intelligence, which are critical to the next generation of banking products. What would you say right now about um, outright loan demand? I would say it's increased slightly. So, so the good news is, is there, there, are, there is starting to be some demand for loans, but it's only slight at this point. We continue to be challenged by the interest rate environment we're in, which has, of course, dampened demand for loans. But as you know, there are so many different types of loans, and the demand for different types of loans varies at different points in the economy. So a lot of the kind of things that we do on the consumer side, uh, we're continued to experience increased demand. What, tell, tell us about what? It, like housing, I would imagine, is under under pressure because of interest rates. You do do residential, right? Where, yeah, yeah. What's some, strong some, and what's not? Some, 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 some types of housing, but affordable housing, there continues to be tremendous demand for affordable housing. So things, so to the extent that you're in a position to do, for example, multifamily loan, multifamily loans, there continues to be that demand because, you know, as you know, we have a housing shortage on, on certainly on the affordable end. What about regulation, Kevin? How do you feel about current, I mean, you're not subjected to the, the rules that the big banks are, but is that... Is that a headwind to business right now when profitability is increasingly under pressure? Of course, it, 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 particularly if you're in a regulated industry like banking. But it, but it also helps you to fortify your opportunity because your institution is supported by FDIC insurance. And so the, in, in since the, reg, the regulation is the key to, to driving the banking business overall, and of course, we would like to be regulated less. Who wouldn't? But I think it, like, there's a good balance in the system. And, and it, as I said, we, we have to be careful not to get caught up in the sauce and, we're, and worrying about, the, for, things, for example, things like the current interest rate environment and what you're going to do or what you're not going to do. What you better be thinking about is the big wave that you face by the challenges technology creates in terms of how people want to receive banking services. So you have to go from a transformation of the a community banking model to what they would call a, a more financial technology model because people are not going to go stand in line no matter how good your donuts are. They're going to look at, they want to look at their phone, they want to look at their computer, and they want to <laughs> be able to engage in banking services. Yeah.